Earlier this week, we talked about the importance of pretend play and how pretend play actually helps develop your child. And in that video, I showed you my little girl's Minnie Mouse play area. And today, I want to show you exactly how I created this ideal play area for my two year old. My name is Aja and if you're new here, each week I give tips, tricks, and strategies on parenthood, family fun, and simply ways you can educate your child. Because stronger families actually help shape the future. If you're interested in joining this community, then subscribe below. And you can also help my channel by liking this video and don't forget to click those bell notifications because that's the only way you'll actually know when I upload a new video. Well, last week we went over the importance of pretend play during toddler and preschool age. Today we are going over exactly how I built my at-home Minnie Mouse play area for my two-year-old. Below in the description, I'll include the links to all the products that I go over in this video, so make sure you check them out. I will be going over the big ticket items that I feel like you should go get for your little girl. Now, if you're new here to Educate Our Youth, I want to introduce you to my very own mother. She was my key ingredient to creating this beautiful, Minnie Mouse environment for my two-year-old. So if you're interested in seeing exactly how I put this together, then let's get started. Now, I didn't get all of these items at one time. I slowly got them over the course of a few months, such as Black Friday, Christmas, and luckily her birthday is two weeks after Christmas, so she gets a lot of gifts. The first thing that she has is this great table. And I didn't want her to just get any old table, but I wanted this table because you can actually put toys in the inside. When she first got this table, she put all the food in this table. And I had to find a way to organize her food because it was everywhere. I also really like the fact that this table comes with two wooden chairs. They're really sturdy. And as an adult, I can sit here and play house with her and it doesn't hurt me one bit. Now, of course you can't have a Minnie Mouse play area with Minnie Mouse flipping kitchen. This by far is one of my favorite kitchen sets that I have ever seen. And the reason I love it because it has so many little tricks and things that it does. It features a pot that actually allows you to flip while you're cooking and allows your child to hear it sizzle. Now of course it allows your child to work out their fine motor skills by turning the knob on the flipping kitchen knob. It also has this on the side that allows for an extra storage area for your child to place hot items such as their pot. It also allows your child to change the recipe so they get to be creative in finding what could they actually make for dinner. The kitchen features a nice little cloth and it has two hooks for the spatula and spoon to go on. It also has a milk machine that allows you to push the button and actually spin and create your milkshake. It has a button that allows you to change from a milkshake maker to a dish rack. Over here you will see a sink that actually turns into a cutting board. We have a two tier oven and also a good old refrigerator. I think this is probably her favorite part of the kitchen. earlier when we first set up her mini kitchen her food was everywhere so I had to find some kind of way to organize her food so I bought a three-tier bookshelf and I made this curtain just out of fabric I also got a little curtain rod I have all her food labeled in these beautiful tubs that I actually got at Michael's and I just simply printed these beautiful labels and taped them on her cubbies now certain cubbies they have a lot of food because she is too um, I put the protein on one side and then on the other side put hamburgers and hot dogs since that's easier to identify. This way she knows exactly what food goes in where and it keeps her stuff nice and organized. I also bought this little container for all of her extra stuff that doesn't necessarily fit in one of these tubs. She loves Minnie's Magic Sink Set. She can wash her dishes. She can clean her cups all by herself and wash her dishes. And she actually loves to wash dishes and loves to wash her hands. There you go, yes. Minnie's Magic Sink actually lets your child wash their hands along with washing the dishes. 
kitchen without an actual phone to call Minnie Mouse on. This phone allowed you to have phone calls from good old Minnie Mouse herself. You can also dial out and you get multiple different ringtones. And when you open the phone, you can talk to Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse can call you, your friends could call you, whoever it is that you want to talk to in your kitchen. Hello, I got me on you shop it. Bye. You can actually cook in the microwave. We're doing s'mores now. I love making healthy snacks. Making healthy snacks. So you would just open it up, put your little food in there that you're wanting in the microwave, close it up. It gives your child visual images that they can actually see what they can cook in the microwave. And she just cooked some s'mores. And it's ready just like that. We have her toy bin here. We can hide a lot of things in the toy bin. For instance, in this side, we can have like her diapers in there for her baby alive doll, diapers, or her clothes for her dolls. Yes, yes, on that side, as you see, Minnie Mouse hat, different hats that she puts on. Crowns hat, bunny ears, Minnie Mouse ears. So we Yes, we do a lot of that, okay. And actually at the bottom, we have a lot of purses. Can you say purses? Purses, yes. So as you see, you can put anything you would like in your Minnie Mouse bin. We do a lot of pretend play here at Minnie's Playhouse. And what we've done for her is we just wrapped a few boxes, regular paper, you can see regular wrapping paper you can get from the dollar store. And I put a bunch of Kindle's Kitchen on a piece of just a regular paper with Minnie Mouse on there. And I just glued them to the boxes. We do wrap them in different wraps, Minnie Mouse wrap. And we just put the name in her kitchen and it's just empty boxes that we use macaroni and cheese boxes, or cereal boxes, any type boxes. In addition to the handbags that we already have, we also purchased the Minnie Mouse accessory kit. This allows you to have a Minnie Mouse purse, Minnie Mouse comb, Minnie Mouse brush, and allows your child the opportunity to role play by playing mommy. I'm laying here comfortably when it's time to clean up. All cleaned up. Now this Minnie Mouse shopping cart has been changed into a Minnie Mouse stroller for her house area. So when she plays grocery, we use it as a shopping cart. And when we play house, we use it as a stroller in her play area. But nonetheless, she absolutely loves it. And if you really want to spice up your child's playtime like I did, I went ahead and rented a good old Minnie Mouse suit. So that on special occasions, she can not only cook in her favorite kitchen, but she can also have a surprise guest, Minnie Mouse. Under who's at the door? Whoa! Whoa! take this out of the plastic since we got it. This is simply Minnie Mouse Play-Doh that she can play in her play area. The rug you see featured on the ground is actually a Minnie Mouse rug that comes with a Minnie Mouse car that your child can drive along the streets and interact with the rug while they're in their playhouse. So those are all of our main big ticket items that we included in her play area. Everything else that you didn't see were just simple Minnie Mouse stuffed animals that my mother has purchased over the last few years. Minnie Mouse beach towel, Minnie Mouse tablecloth, and just simple things like that. We just kind of put it all together and made the idea of Minnie Mouse play area. Don't forget to click those Amazon links below in the description that have the exact products of what I showed you here today. Well, don't forget to like this video and join our community by subscribing below. And if you haven't already make sure you check out the importance of pretend play and then you will see actually why it is that you should have some sort of play area for your child see you later Happy birthday.